Hello, everybody, and welcome. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a quick, easy, one skillet meal using my 15 inch cast iron skillet. If you guys don't have a cast iron skillet, I highly recommend getting one. They're so great. You can take it from the stove top and pop it in the oven. You can cook over a fire if you want to. They're just great. They evenly distribute heat and keep things warm. Um, but tonight, we're going to be making chicken breast. with some carrots and potatoes, and I also have a purple onion here. So let's get started. Okay, so before we season the chicken, I have my oven warming up to 375, and let's get the cast iron skillet going. Okay, so that I don't burn anything, I'm just gonna put it on a medium low right now. Toss in some butter and add in a little olive oil. Let that melt down. All right, I'm gonna make sure everything is spread open. That way I can season all of it. And if you want, you are more than welcome to cut off the extra fat. Sometimes I do, um, but for the most part, I'll leave some of the fat on there for flavoring and then cut it off as I eat it. Okay, I always season with salt and pepper really well. I also love my roasted garlic. I use it on just about everything. And then I also have Old Bay seasoning. It is one of my favorites. I love it on my chicken. Butter is melting down in here nicely. So now what we want to do is put the chicken thighs in here, season side down. That way we can season the top side when we get them all put in here. Okay, now just like we did the other side, we're going to go ahead and season the naked side. And you can use what other seasonings you like too. If there's a specific seasoning that you like on your chicken, That'll work perfect for what we're doing tonight as well. And what we will be looking for is a nice golden brown coloring on the chicken, but I have it on a nice medium low right now, so it'll take a few minutes. So while we are waiting for this, let's go ahead and wash our carrots and potatoes and get them chopped up. So for tonight's dinner, I didn't choose Fingerling Melody for any specific reason other than it looked fun and colorful. Normally I use red potatoes in almost every dish I cook. I'm just going to cut these into smaller bite-sized pieces. Not very often you see purple potatoes, but I thought it could be something different for tonight. But I love the red potatoes or the golden potatoes. They just have a nice buttery flavor and they're good with just about everything. And then for the carrots, I went with baby carrots because they're nice and sweet and juicy, but you can also use the larger carrots and just cut them up into bite-sized pieces if you want.
All right, we're gonna set these aside for a minute and check on our chicken. Chicken, that's the perfect color. Then I have some cloves of fresh garlic. Give it a nice squish. This smell is gonna be on my hands forever. We're just going to chop it up really nicely. Okay. Our chicken is looking perfect. So we're just going to set this aside. Turn this off for a moment. Now let's add our garlic and our onion. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add in our carrots and potatoes. Just want to give them a little bit of color and then we'll add the chicken back in, turn it off, cover everything with foil, and pop it in the oven to finish. And because I can, I'm going to add a little more Old Bay. Just a little bit. Good on everything. Really glad I went with the fingerling meddling. Isn't it fun looking? Something different to spice things up every now and again. All right, let's go ahead and turn off our stove top and layer the chicken back on here. Now we didn't cook the chicken all the way through, we just browned it on both sides, so we're going to finish it off in the oven. Now by covering it with foil and sticking it in the oven to finish off, it'll make sure to keep your chicken nice and moist for you. Okay, let's go ahead and cover it with the foil. And please be very careful, this is very hot. Okay, 
So the oven is at 375 and we set our timer for 30 minutes. Let's take it out of the oven. Again, this is very hot, so please be careful. Take a knife, make sure the chicken is cooked through, and it is, and oh yeah, it's nice and nice and tender and juicy. The potatoes are done, and the carrots are perfect.